So I did it. I grabbed a three ring binder and I put together my control journal. If you don't know what a control journal is, well, let me fill you in. It's a book of mind control spells to get your husband to clean the house. No, I'm just kidding. But let's create that, yeah? Shambly, shubly, shabbly, mop of the house -ily. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. So a control journal is a place to keep all your papers to help you run your home. Your daily routines, meal planning, important papers, whatever it may be. It helps to keep you on track. You know exactly what to do next because you have it right in front of you. No more guessing or feeling overwhelmed about how to start your day. It's all there for you. I created mine last week. I just love how it turned out and I hope it inspires you today to create your own. Okay, here is my control journal. So I wrote on the front, every day do something that will inch you closer to a better tomorrow. I'd like to say that through my life experiences and my incredible wisdom that I came up with that quote all on my own. But I didn't, so thank you, Doug Fireball. So the first thing you'll see when I open my journal is this pencil pouch. I got it for a dollar and I use it to keep all my dry erase markers since mostly everything in this binder is in sheet protectors. I also bought dividers to help keep things organized. So this section is all about routines and here is my flight plan for the week, but I will break all these down in the coming pages. On the left here is my daily routine. It's pretty similar to Fly Lady's daily routine shown in her app, but I added a couple more things. The goal here was to make it short and simple. If you make your routines too long, you're gonna get overwhelmed. So remember, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. But I'm not calling you stupid, I'm calling me stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. <sighs> she doesn't listen. And then on the right page shows Mondays to do. I know that Monday is supposed to be the weekly home blessing, but I like to make Mondays easy for myself. So I just give myself one task to wash my bed sheets. I don't know about you guys, but on Monday, I don't feel like doing anything. I just wanna sit on my couch and eat pickled potato chips. Oh, you know they're good. So I save the weekly home blessing for Tuesday. And then I add some extra lines in case there's something I need to add to my to-do list that day. You may notice that you're seeing the same page again over here on the left. Well, that's because you are. I have printed out seven of the same page so that I could have one for each day of the week. This way, I'm not flipping my binder around constantly. I can just open it to this one spot and stay there most of the day. Next is Wednesday, which is, you guessed it, anti-procrastination day. What are you procrastinating on? This should be completely filled out at all times because I'm such a procrastinator that I procrastinate on procrastination. Thursday is normally errand day, but for me, it's clean out your car and purse day. My errand day is Saturday, so therefore, my planning day is right before it, on Friday, I make sure to clean out the fridge, meal plan, pay the bills, oh, and finish up this video, which is done, cause you're watching this. Way to be proactive, myself. And Saturday is my errand day. I also try to make it a fun day too, since I decide to torture myself by grocery shopping on the busiest day of the week. And Sunday is Renew Your Spirit Day, but it's also my date night. That's just what works for us. And here's a little printout I created that shows everything I need to do all week. So I printed like 10 of these and I literally just put them all over my house, inside cabinets, by the bathroom mirror, near my bed. So forgetting is not an excuse for me. And these are just the extras in case I wanna put up more. Next is my notes section. I need to buy for all my Amazon Prime needs. Wants? Needs. Home projects, I need to replace my 50 year old bathtub along with the bathroom floors. Allow me to continue to remind myself of these things and never do them and just some loose leaf paper in case I need to write any notes. The next section is cleaning. This is where I list out the zones and one of these days I wanna take the time to add each zone on its own page along with all the tasks that need to get done. But one thing at a time. I'm just trying to master the routines here. And here is where all the magic happens. My meal planning section. What did I ever do before I meal planned? I ate takeout, a lot. That's what I did. These are the meals my family enjoys. I listed out simple meals, meals that are more time consuming, and what I can make out of my leftovers, along with more bullet points in case I wanna add more in the future. And after that, it only makes sense to have my recipes. I don't have all my recipes in here, just some favorites. We eat a lot of chicken. My goodness, I'm surprised we haven't turned into chickens. And lots of desserts, because, well, dessert. At the back of my binder is the Fly Lady 11 Commandments, which I read over from time to time, and also my inspiration page. Check out all the inspiration I have to give myself. Oh, how motivating. And hey, if you're thinking of diving into Fly Lady's 31 baby steps, then check out this video where I go over all 31 baby steps in under four minutes. Just gives you a good idea of what to expect before you get into it. I'll see you there.